Martinus um, was a Danish writer, a spiritual writer. He was born in 1890 in the north of Jutland in Denmark, uh, and he died in 1981 in Frederiksberg, which is part of Copenhagen. He, um, his collected works are called the Third Testament, and they comprise Leavitt's book, the book of, which means the Book of Life. He wanted his books to be known by their Danish title all over the world. So it's, his main work is Leavitt's book, the Book of Life. There are seven volumes. Um, currently, three of them are available in English, and shortly, we hope uh, five volumes will be available rather soon. Um, his, uh, he has written a, a very comprehensive world picture. He has described uh, evolution from the mineral kingdoms, the kingdom to the plant kingdom, to the what he calls the unfinished human kingdom. And that he says that our evolution doesn't stop here, it goes on, and we will evolve physically, morally, sexually, until we become what he calls real human beings. And from the, then on, we will um, continue into higher spiritual realms and at some point return to the physical world. So he's provided us with a, a really comprehensive world picture. In 1921, when Martinus was about 30, then um, he had a spontaneous spiritual experience which left him with what he described as cosmic consciousness. And that gave him the ability to see uh, the, the spiritual laws behind all the physical phenomena uh, in the world. So he could see the eternal laws and the eternal principles. He could see eternity, he could see infinity, he could see the purpose of all things. And he could really see that as it says in the Bible, everything is very good. He could really see that this was an absolute truth, that um, despite uh, the fact that there are a lot of wars and a lot of disharmony in the world in various l on various levels, between married couples, between parents and children, between employers and employees, between countries, despite all this unpleasantness, then there was a dis divine purpose with it all. So one of the great things Martinez has done is to describe the role of darkness. He has shown that darkness is a very necessary contrast to the experience of light, and that without an epoch of darkness, which we are going through at the moment, then we would have no ex ability to experience life at all. So the experience of life is based uh, entirely on the principle of contrast. If you haven't experienced black, you can't experience white. If you haven't experienced being sad, you can't experience being happy. And if you haven't experienced what he calls a kind of cosmic death, which is a kind of cosmic unconscious state, where you have no direct access to the solution of, uh, to the mystery of life, uh, if you haven't experienced that, then you won't experience cosmic consciousness. But, but he says it's guaranteed that you experience cosmic consciousness because we go through this um, epoch of darkness. We learn from all the suffering that we experience, and we become... Um, man in God's image after his likeness, as it says in the Bible. I've now I've quoted the Bible a couple of times, and, and, and Martinus has called his work the Third Testament. And this is because he was very inspired by Christ. Um, Martinus' cosmology is not a new religion, but Martinus um, found it very important to render uh, Christ's dogmas and the humane truths in all the religions um, scientific. Uh, he wanted to show that there was a scientific truth in all these dogmas like love thy neighbor as thyself and, and why not to forgive and so on. And um, uh, Yeah, he showed that this, these things were really scientific truths and you could experiment them with them like you experiment with chemicals in a laboratory. He, ca he, he calls one's behavior and one's thoughts um, cosmic chemicals. You can put them together in different ways and you can see what the result is. A bit of anger, a, dis a bit of disappointment, and see what comes out. Um, a bit of friendliness and generosity, and see what comes out. And of course, he's, we are in a world today where we're suffering so much, so um, we're longing to get away from all kinds of darkness. Darkness is dark in, in our personal life, darkness on the world level, where, there's, where there are wars various places on earth, and um, there's a financial situation that's very unpleasant for for us at the moment, and unemployment, and all sorts of things. We're longing to get away from darkness. So, 
he's really supporting us in this transition from darkness towards light. He's explaining the situation. Um, he's not presenting us with any kind of dogma or telling us what to do. He's analyzing the situation and saying, well, this is where you are. You're a transition being between an animal being and a real human being. You're on your way to becoming a real human being, which means you're on your way to being all loving. And practicing universal love is, is the way forward. It's the way out of this darkness and the way to the, the creation of cosmic consciousness for every single one of us. Um, what other people would call total initiation. Uh, initiation into the mystery of life or the solution to the mystery of life. Well, you can find Martinez's books um, uh, in some bookshops. Uh, you can find them on the internet. There's a homepage called Martinus, uh, dk. Um, Martinus died in 1981, but he said, so a lot of people, of course, can't meet him physically, but he said the best way to meet him is through his books, to, through his writings. So um, his books are, uh, can be bought on the internet uh, in various languages. We have, we, we're currently translating Martinus into about 23 languages. So um, uh, there's a lot of work still to be done, but his books are available. Uh, some of his books are available in many languages. In English we have Liebesbo, The Book of Life, Volume 1, 2 and 4. We're currently working on uh, translating Volume 3 and 5. Uh, and we have The Eternal World Picture, Volume 1, 2, 3 and 4. And we have about 10 of his shorter works. And we have a book called Logic, which is a fairly large work. Yes, he drew symbols, and these symbols are... He compares them to maps in relation to landscapes. They're, they're like maps of the spiritual world, map, maps of spiritual laws and, and principles. So that every, every figure, every line, every color in his symbols uh, means something. And he's written explanations of these symbols, and they're a great help when studying his analysis. You can get a, easily get an overview of principles that you can't see or feel or, or in any way sense directly. This, uh, these, these symbols are a great pedagogical tool and we experience uh, when we're teaching groups that speak different languages that um, there's a co the, this, uh, the symbols are a kind of universal language uh, that make, it, make these um, cosmic reali realities easily accessible.